We're here at the Paperback Exchange with Victor Kunin talking about his book, From Marble to Flesh. This year, the Florentine Press published Victor Kunin's From Marble to Flesh, the biography of Michelangelo's David, a book revealing the tale of the world's most famous statue using a very different approach. The book really came out of my experiences teaching, and I've taught seminars on Michelangelo to undergraduates, to adults, and everything in between. And the David was always a favorite of the class, no matter how much time I ever saved for the David, people always wanted more. And questions would always arise having to do with just why is the David so famous? What, what makes him a statue that people can't stop talking about? And so the book is really my response uh, to explain why the David is so famous, uh, what he meant uh, in the Renaissance when he was carved, and what he means to us today. Instead of writing with a stuffy, academic voice, the story is divulged in a manner accessible to everyone. Kunin, a distinguished art historian and professor of art history at Rhodes College, brings David to life, answering the ultimate question, why 500-year-old work still resonates so deeply with the public today? I, I was very deliberate uh, about the audience. I wanted the book to be a scholarly book, and so it's, it's noted. It has a bibliography, and uh, it makes an original contribution to the literature. Uh, however, uh, the writing style is really meant for anyone to read. I very much want my mother to be able to read it. I want anyone who has any interest in the David to be able to read it. So it's very deliberately a hybrid, uh, a scholarly book, but one that anybody can read. Told like a 500-year-old biography, the tale is rich in conflict, tension, controversy, and cultural meaning. The story begins long before Michelangelo ever begins to work on his greatest accomplishment and includes all the unexpected turns, controversies, and scandals throughout history. The David really has a story uh, to tell, and it's a very human-like story about a lifelike work of art. So it has a, a beginning, a sort of birth, there is a maturation period, and he's now in a period that I'm calling the golden years, where we even have a, a golden David that exists uh, in Louisville, Kentucky. So um, again, it's, it's about the, the story of the statue. And we end the book with uh, pictures of people wearing tattoos of the David, where it seems as, as though they're actually becoming the David. And we even have a David replica that has been tattooed himself. So he's becoming more of a modern contemporary individual. So uh, the lines between life and art are certainly uh, blurring continuously with this statue. David takes a life of his own, being both lifelike and larger than life as an epitome of human accomplishment and beauty.